WMS, this is a very special show for Third Hour Broadcasting, so we decided to have three anchors. I'm Leah. I'm Brendan. I'm Xander. So guys, we did it. We made it to Friday. Hey Xander, have you seen all the snow lately? Yeah, I wonder when we'll get our first snow day. Let's go to Ian to find out some more about student snow day superstition. Hey guys, this is Ian Falsworth from the DMS Broadcast. Today I'm going to be listing off a few snow day superstitions that might have caused this week's uh, snow. So one of them are turn your pajamas inside out and wear them to sleep. Place an ice cube in the toilet and flush it down for each inch of snow. Sleep with a spoon under your pillow. Eat ice cream for dinner. And do a snow dance in front of your yard while wearing your PJs inside out. Go to the freezer and open the door and sing snow day, snow day, snow day. Put a spoon in the f and put a spoon in the freezer. So I hope you guys try some of these next week, and hopefully we will get another blizzard or another snow day. This is Ian Falscroft signing off on the DMS broadcast. What's up, DMS? You guys like hot cocoa? If so, come on down to Cool Beans Coffee Shop where you can get yourself some hot cocoa and some snacks. You can get banana bread and blueberry muffins. You can also eat it here in Cool Beans Coffee Shop, as you can see with all these tables and chairs. All you gotta do is check out at this counter, pay them, and then you're good to go. You don't even have to be on, you don't have to be on flight. You just come in Tuesdays and Thursdays whenever they call on the bell. That's about it for Coffee Shop. It's pretty nice. Get hot cocoa and some snacks. I'll be seeing you later. This is Andrew Chadwick signing off from DMS Broadcasting. Heard about the playoffs? Which playoffs? The NFL and MLS. Okay, let's go to Brendan and Brayden to find out more. My name is Brendan Habel, and today I'm going to be interviewing Jesse about the NFL playoffs. Um, who do you think who has the best offense right now? In my opinion, I think it's the Chiefs because they're super high. They have Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, Sammy Watkins, Patrick Mahomes, Kelly Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Who has the best defense in the league right now? Probably the Bears because... They're giving up like, I don't know, like, what's their average? Like 16 points a game? Something like that. Who do you think will have the best chance of going to the playoffs this season? Uh, in the AFC, it's the Chiefs and the Steelers for the top two seeds. And the top two seeds in the NFC are the Saints and Rams. Um, do you think uh, any of them are going to be going to divisional? Yeah, I feel like the Chiefs will finally make them playoff or win a playoff game. Uh, who do you think is going to get the first draft pick for the 2019 season? It's going to be the Raiders or the Giants. Um, why do you think they're going to get it first? Because the Giants are not really putting it together besides I guess they won against the 49ers, but the Raiders because they traded for the By the end of this NFL season, who is going to have the best record? I think it's going to be the Chiefs because of their explosive offense. Um, what do you think they're going to end with? 13 and 3 is my opinion. Um, how about the NFC? I feel like the Saints are going to come out on top because they're really balanced. What do you think their end total is going to be? Uh, I think it's going to be like 14 and 2 or 13 and 3. Um, who do you think has the best chance of going to the Super Bowl now? Um, probably the Saints, I feel like. And for the AFC, Probably like the Patriots or the Steelers. Okay, thank you. And DMS, this is Brendan Hable signing off for DMS Broadcasting. DMS, I'm Bray Maggio, and we're going to go talk to some people about the MLS playoffs. Let's go. So I'm here with Drew Hare, and we're going to be asking him questions about uh, the playoffs for MLS. Drew, who's your favorite team? Uh, Sporting Kansas City. Uh, who's your favorite player for that team? Daniel Shadowy, because he has good foot skills. Okay, and uh, how many games have you been to this year? Four. Four. And do you think sporting will have a good chance of winning it all? Yes. All right, thank all you. All right, so now I'm here with Phoenix, and we're going to be asking her the same questions. So, Phoenix, who's your favorite team? Sporting. And why do you like sporting? Because um, they're in our hometown, and they're pretty good. So. And who's your favorite player on sporting? Sesnovic. And why do you like Sesnovic? Um, cause he's a really good all around player. Like he can play offense and defense really good. And he has, he's good with the ball. And do you think Sporting has a chance of winning the tournament playoffs? I mean, I think they could win, but like, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't make it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah! I'm here with 
Emory, and we're going to be doing the same thing. So, Emory, who's your favorite team? Um, Sporting Kansas City. And why do you like Sporting? Um, it's just our hometown. I've We've had season tickets for a few years now, and they're a great team. Uh, who's your favorite player on Sporting? Probably Graham Zuzzi. Graham Zuzzi, why do you like Graham Zuzzi? Um, he's just, he's an original player, so I've just always liked him. Yeah, and do you think Sporting will have a good chance of winning the playoffs? Yeah, I think they have a really good chance. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. I hope you learn more about the MLS Cup playoffs, and I'm Brett Maggio signing off. Have a good week at BMS. Wow, I'm so knowledgeable now. Yeah, we've had our fun with sports, but let's go back to school and learn how to study. Ugh, I got another F on my test. Do you not know how to study properly? I guess not. Here are some tips on how to study properly and get A's on all your tests. Tip number one, use Quizlet or Kahoot. They have different studying options that will help you get prepared. Tip number two, ask your teachers or parents for help. Tip number three, don't mess around in class. Tip number four, always make sure to get plenty of rest before you quit. Tip number five, always make sure to eat a balanced breakfast before your test. Tip number six, don't stress. Hey Xander. Yeah Brendan, what's up? I've been hearing a lot about how to write an email to a teacher correctly. Do you know anything about it? No, but let's go to Rick to find out more. Hey DMS, a lot of people don't know how to properly send an email. So today I'm going to show you how to really send an email to a teacher. So the first thing you want to do is you want to explain what you're going to be doing in the subject, like putting homework if you're going to ask for homework. Then you want to address dear and then whoever you're sending to. And not D-E-R, it's D-E-A-R. After this, in a very formal way, you want to type what you were asking for or what you were talking about to the teacher. You want to be sure to include all a correct uh, punctuation and everything you need to say. Remember to correct all your spelling, grammar, and everything else that you need. After this, when you have finished, remember to put thank you, sincerely, or something above those lines, and then your name. Then click send and you're done. Thank you for watching and have a good weekend, DMS. Hey Brendan, do you know about any fun after school activities? No, but I've been hearing a ton about them. Could you tell me more? I can't, but Carter and Mark might have some ideas. Hey DMS, I'm Carter Miracle, and today I'm going to be talking about how our first. 8th grade boys basketball game went. So as some of you guys may know, our first game was November 19th at Discovery at 4 and 5 o'clock against Green. A and B won. I would say that A, they had a pretty good game pushing the ball and playing good defense. Also a great transition. And B did pretty good just playing team basketball, running plays, and yeah, knocking down shots, stuff like that. <laughs> All the time I got for today, DMS. This is Carter Miracle signing off for DMS News. Hey, Brendan, you've heard about the Walking Dead game, right? 
Of course, it is going wildly popular across the school. Could you tell me more about it? Yes, in fact, I can tell you more about it. Hey DMS, I'm Ava with Third Hour Broadcasting, and today I'll be seeing if DMS students can finish the vine. So let's get into it. Emily, I finished the vine. <laughs> Roadwork ahead. That's fine. I sure hope it does. Hey Leah, finish the vine. Hi, my name's Trey. I got a basketball game tomorrow. I'm a point guard. I got two games. I'm here with Ava, Bailey, and Malia. Do you guys finish the vine? Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> More <laughs> like Hurricane Torsten. Hey, third hour. Finish the vine. Stop. You almost made me drop my big song. My name is Brady's class. Finish the vine. Country boy. I love you. Those kids did really good reciting the vines. Could you guys have finished them? Have a look at the MS. Hey, have you ever wondered what happens to the school after we leave? No, but let's go to Simon to find out more. Another day on the job. Last shift. Oh my god. Is that real? Are you alive, Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln? I'm a huge fan. Oh my. George Washington, you're here too? The first space shuttle? DMS, have you ever wondered what happens after you go home at night in DMS? Let's find out. So we're here with Quiff. Um, so Quiff, what do you do after the school day ends? Well, my day ends at 3 o'clock, but I go in and I help out with the boys. I lower the rims for them. I bring out the bleachers if need be, and I'll get the ball racks out for the basketball team. All right. Uh, and anything else during the day I that you prefer I also clean the kitchen, so oh. I usually clean it till 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I can go home. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So DMS, I hope you learned a little bit about what happens after you go home at DMS. Have a good weekend. Bye Abraham. Bye George. Hey DMS, have you ever wondered who designs your clothes? Let's go to Ava to learn more about her fashion drawings. I'm here with Ava to talk to her about her fashion illustrations. So when did you start drawing? Mm, I have to say around 2015 is when I really got into it. Uh, fashion necessarily 2016? Yeah, 2016. I came off a book. I really fell in love with it, so you know, I started getting more into it. My Would you say that's like where you get your inspiration? No, my inspiration comes more off my idol. Uh, his name is Hayden Williams. He's a fashion designer down in London. And uh, inspiration more comes from him. About how many would you say you have drawn? 50, maybe more. So, uh, like, on an average, how long do you think it takes you to draw? Two or three hours. So, do you, like, carry around supplies during school? Uh, yeah, I carry this around. It's a, just a pack of my colored pencils. In my binder, I have about $80 worth of markers in there um, for art. So, yeah. Um, do you have, like, a certain place you like to draw these? Like, is there a favorite spot you like to draw? Somewhere quiet is definitely somewhere where I can definitely focus and mess up. It's not something somebody always asking me. Can I draw? Can you draw me or something? It's definitely more just quiet places. Generally. And then, do you have like a favorite drawing? Mm, my favorite drawing would have to be this one. It's a prom dress I'm designing for a girl for a senior prom. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Ava's pretty talented. Let's go back to the anchors. This has been Addison Rouse signing off for DMS Broadcasting. This has been Third Hour Broadcasting. Have, Have a, a good, good weekend, weekend, DMS.